And so I was on a plane actually uh, flying from here to California on business. And I looked out the window and I looked at all the rooftops down there. And I thought, you know, if you could put solar on every one of those rooftops, I mean, that would be a tremendous volume. You know, covering everybody's rooftops with solar, that's a huge opportunity, I think. And, and really good for the, uh, for the world. So we started the company in uh, early 2008 with, uh, with a couple of employees and uh, we're now at uh, 65 employees here in uh, Bloomington. It's, and it's manufacturing jobs, which are, you know, I think generally considered one of the things that's really plaguing the country. And what really makes uh, our array different is rather than letting the sunlight fall between the gaps, we actually pair it with the, uh, this uh, reflector that we've developed with, uh, together with 3M. It reflects light over onto the PV panel and produces much more energy than what it otherwise would. The public policies that really drive the, the installation and the back end cell is, is what's really important. And that basically then is, is we feel the most appropriate thing to, to base government incentives on. When solar crosses through the, the grid parity point, which is very close actually, is at that point you can actually generate electricity cheaper than you can with coal. And at that point, who's not going to want to do solar? There's no doubt that solar is basically going to be incredibly pervasive around the world.